Howdy, folks. You know, Whiskey Myers' album, Firewater, was produced by singer-songwriter Leroy Powell. The result of that collaboration showed off the band's unique Texas spin on Southern rock. Here's the band with their story behind that album. And grandma's in the kitchen And papa's done passed on We're sitting on the front porch Just a picking on the song And there's blood on the table Two words for what we have As we Well, we've always been playing music and just kind of always got together and played every now and then, you know, hanging out in different parties or wherever we were and played music when we got a chance. And then we decided to start a band one day and did it. And went out and cut a demo and took it around to different bars to try to get somebody to let us play and finally got a chance and just been playing ever since. This album was really the first one that we get to that we got to take, you know, time to really work on. And we kind of knew a little bit more about what we were doing, uh, maybe. We already had, you know, most of the stuff really going into the studio. You know, certain things we changed. Anna Marie would change dramatically in the studio. You know, and you add your little things, and you, all, you always hear songs always different once you lay it down, you know, and stuff. But. Most of the stuff was us, you know, we had pretty much the whole gist of the song going in and, you know, we just laid it down. And Eric Herbst engineered it at Panhandle House. Engineer. What? An engineer. He's an engineer, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Leroy Powell came down and produced it. We became good friends with him. He's got a really good ear for music, so it was, it was easy, man. It was... <laughs> with some strength and love from the family. Cody, we're in Nashville uh, doing some writing things and meeting people, and somebody, we had ended up, we we're, were going to write with him the next day, and then our manager said, well, you know, he's playing tonight, well, we'd never met Leroy, and, and at that time, we, you know, we didn't even think, we didn't even know if he produced stuff, you know, and the stuff that he had done, and so we went and watched Tim's three-piece band play, and about that third song into it, I looked at you, I was like, man, this dude needs you know, produce, produce our, our album. album. That's what <laughs> took us so long. We couldn't find a producer, you know, that some, you know, everybody else had used, you know, and we wanted something different. We just fell in love with his style of music. We thought he would understand us, and then we hung out and we became friends and asked him to produce the album, and here we are. single off the album was a uh, bar guitar and a honky tonk crowd. It was actually written by uh, Brent Cobb. Cody and them first heard it and thought it sounded like a, a song that we would have came up with if he hadn't. So, uh, and we released it first because it's it's more rock and roll. It kind of wanted to set the tone for the record. Yeah, it did well. It did. It's still one of our more popular songs we play every show. They like to scream it. They do. They like to sing the chorus. The way the chorus is, it's, it's pretty cool. They get to, they get to yell. We actually seen him in Nashville playing. When we went to uh, when we first met Leroy Powell. Actually, he had opened for Leroy Powell. It's something like that. Yeah, we just seen him. He played that song. Wow, that, I should have wrote that song. You know, Anna Marie. We actually play that song rock and roll live. We don't. We, on the on the album, it's acoustic. We have all these stops and claps and stuff. It's really fun. And I got a girl named Anna Marie. She choose to leave by gear by single mole. Tree in the wish she act don't nobody know. But I sure do love it when she crinkles her nose. Hey! Anna Marie! Hey. 
we had that riff for a long time. And then finally we just, I think we wrote that in Oklahoma in a hotel. We wrote, me and you wrote that in the bathroom in the hotel yeah. a long time ago. Our first radio. First radio. Yeah. First radio. Like five yeah, years ago, actually. And then finally we just put it together and we went in the studio and we thought about something different where we could do stops and claps. Everybody's screaming and hollering, just having a good time. Turns out pretty cool though. A rock and roll style that's kind of southern feel to it, you know, kind of a gritty. There's a 